Alright, this video is for my boy TJ. Uh, he has a he has a Brazilian rainbow boy. He that that he's not sure about the sex. So I was gonna just kind of take pictures of the end of the boas, these sand boas, because generally with the boas you can kind of tell a little easier than you can with pythons. With the boas, at the tapering of the tail, right here where they actually use the bathroom. Let's see here. Will you sex it? I'm sorry, I've got a bad angle. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Alright, where they get sexed right there, where they use where they poop and everything like that. From there to the tip of the tail, if it's pretty long, like it looks like a little finger, then that's how you tell if you have a male. Generally with most boas, like even with the Columbia red tail boas, it's this pretty decent way of telling without having a probe kit. So as you can see there that's pretty long. Let me show you what a short one looks like. To show you in comparison, I have my large female here. Which, with my large female, if she stays still, even with a larger snake, it's not as long on the female if she stays still. Cut it out. Let me angle you. Here we go. See on the female how it looks more like a little nub? It's not an actual finger. It curls more like a little nub, like a claw looking thing, then you have your female. So, again, the female is pretty short from her, I believe it's called cloaca area. Look at me, I got all these snakes, I'm not even sure the terminology. It's pretty small coming from the butt part, and on the males, it's a lot longer. Like, his is he's half her size, and his looks longer than hers. So hopefully that helps. You can check out your snake, kind of tell the difference now. You're looking for either a nub looking thing or a long finger. The longer it is, the male, the shorter it is, the female. And for all use against having sand boas in sand, I've had this female since she was small. Well, mid-size. And she's been doing excellent in here. No issues. It was my male. I had him from very small. You guys can see the videos. He was a little worm. Doing great. And this is what I love about sand. Look at the urate. Boop. Goodbye. And then I go in there when I'm playing with the snakes. And I pick up all these little ones. And, and then the snake. And then the sand is fresh. And you can scratch the bottom to find whatever crap may be stuck. And you can pull it right out. Here you go. Bam. I think that's just water and sand. That's the actual urate. See what I mean? So it's like ridiculously easy to clean. I love it. So I keep the sand thing going on. Not to mention that the feed videos are incredible when it comes shooting up out of the sand the way they do. I've got some cool sandball feedings. You guys want to scroll back and see some. These guys are fat this week. I'm not going to feed her. She, look, she's gone already. She disappears. Gone. There goes her head. I'm not going to feed her. She's been... Looking pretty overweight, so I'm gonna start getting her on the every other week diet. Don't want her big fat sausage looking all nasty. I want her, you know, pretty active. That's my female. That's my male. Sam Boas. And yeah, one day I'll probably end up breeding them. I really don't know all of the situations of Sam Boas. I know they're super easy to breed. You just put them together and they breed, but. I don't know what these two morphs would come out to be. I just happen to like the colors, so I bought these particular ones. The black and white, which I believe is the anatheristic. I believe it's a recessive gene, so something probably won't even show up. And then I got the caramel one. Come on, move, girl. She's like, why are you touching me? I just got away. Anyway, the caramel one. So, there they go. That's how you sex boas and a little shot of my sand boas. Kill two birds with one stone. Hope that helped, T. And I will see the rest of the YouTubers later. Peace. I gotta get him a nice little ornament. He looks too plain. I like the skull. We out.